Today we're going to attempt to cook a meatloaf and baked potatoes on the Blackstone Grill. The Blackstone 22 inch Adventure Ready Grill. So let's get started and see if we can be done. Alright, we put the meatloaf in an aluminum foil pan, covered it with aluminum foil, and we got set on about medium, yep. about medium heat, and we got baked potatoes, I rubbed them with olive oil, and wrapped them up here in aluminum foil, they're not very big, they're kind of a small, on the small side of potatoes, so we're going to attempt this, I haven't seen the recipe, so we're going to see if we can get it done. Can we get it done? And we got guards here on the side to block the wind. And a friend of ours got those at the Dollar Tree. So, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It could be a failure or it could be good. I'll check back with you. It's already cooked about 20 minutes. But we're going to try something here. Like you said, it could be a fail or a flop. See one? It's yeah, it's browning on the bottom. I ha now the recipes I saw was meatloaf burger. That would be good. But we're just wanted to try this. We might need to put that up on the rack. Um, we're going to try to raise it up to maybe that'll help it cook a little bit better. Not burn it. Or not burn it. We're going to put a rack up here. This is an attempt. We don't know if it's going to work or not. We may end up end up cooking this in the oven. <laughs> Finish cooking it. I think it'll be all right. So let's wait and see. All right, I'm going to take a look. Kind of spread it apart there a little bit. Oh, it's yeah. Um, I'm going to go get the sauce and we'll put the sauce on top of it and cook it some more. Now we're going to mix, uh, brush on a mixture of uh, ketchup and brown sugar. You can use any of your meatloaf recipes. I just used the one I like. And I couldn't tell you how much of this or that went in because I just guessed. Yep. Put, put as much on there. And how long has the potatoes been cooking? Probably about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. We're going to get ready and check them here too. Now that, that is just basically, you just want that to get heated. So we'll leave it uncovered now. You want to leave it uncovered? Yeah, leave it uncovered. This is a trial, guy. everyone. I rubbed olive oil on them. Look like it's getting yeah, they look like they're getting done. So that was what you said about how long? About 40 minutes. Oh, bad. So crazy pop. And Michael from the Wondering Wood Whisper, we may have figured out how to do this. After he, Jim put a rack there, elevated it up so it didn't you know, burn on the bottom. Yeah, this one was a little bigger. And that one was a little bigger. 
Now, that one, it's not done. Try on air. But we want that left uncovered for a while. All on the Blackstone Adventure 22-inch Adventure Ready Grill. We're trying to learn to cook new things out on the grill because we're going full time. We don't want to waste our solar and everything inside the RV cooking when we have this propane Blackstone grill. We want to see how much we can cook on it. So this trying this meatloaf and the baked potatoes is a good trial and error while we're staying here at a place where we have electricity and water. So it's just a good test. So stay tuned. Let's see how it all turns out. I'll go ahead and take it off and put it in a container. Now doesn't that look good? The potatoes are still cooking. We probably probably should have put them on a little bit before, but we really wasn't quite sure about the meatloaf, how long it would take. Look at that steam coming off. And it smells so good. Look at that. This is a trial and error. Crazy Pop, I challenge you to see if you can do this. That's that one small potato. The other ones, are they, I don't think they're done. They might be. No, mm -hmm. pretty soft. Yeah, they might be getting done. We had to cut them in half because they were. Oh, they actually like the rock. We got one that's being stubborn and not getting done. What's going, what's going in and eat? Now we've got them out here paid off a little bit. All right, we're going to go inside. We're going to try them out. See what it tastes like. We'll let you know. Well, they passed Jim's inspection. Actually, it's pretty good. And how long did it take us to do this for the meatloaf? The meatloaf was about 45 minutes. And the potatoes, would they would take a lot longer. The small potato took 40 minutes. The big potatoes took about 55. Yeah. We're learning. We're learning. Now... It's not dry. It's good and juicy. Now I'm going to try it. It's good. I mean, it's not, yeah, you like it's not dry. It's juicy. Because we want to be, use that grill every bit we can out on the road as we are full-time RVers, so. But Crazy Pop, I like to see you, your recipe on how to do a meatloaf and how you do baked potatoes. So I challenge you, give it a try and see what you come up. And the Wondering Wood Whisper? Wife, because he's busy. Wife, I like to see yours. See you on the next video. For future reference, when we make the meatloaf again, we're going to set the pan right directly on the rack. I mean, put the rack on the grill, then set the pan on top of it. That way, it would probably give it the less tendency to try to burn or anything. And we're going to attempt the baked potatoes. Again, we will make sure we get it all done and keep trying. Never know what you're going to come up with. So, I'll see you on the next video. Give this one a big thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. And remember, your next dream, your next adventure is just over the horizon. See you in the next video.